everyone. Welcome back to my channel here at Tech Imaginations. I'm Susan Vincent, and yes, it's been a little while, so I'm glad to be back here on YouTube recording tutorial videos and things about educational technology that I want to share with you and teach you about. So in today's video, we're going to go back to the basics a little bit, and we're going to go into Google Slides and talk about printing slides for when you're ready to make a presentation, but you need that handout to go with it. And some of these tools, they change around and they move around. Google does that. Um, so we're going to find that option thanks to a wonderful coworker of mine who helped me find it a few weeks ago when she needed it for one of her presentations. And she actually found it and pointed it out to me. So I thought this was something we need to talk about and make sure everyone knows where to find this. So travel over with me to Google Slides and I'll meet you there. So here we are in Google Slides. This happens to be my presentation from the recent FETC conference that I did, and I will share more about that in a future video, so stay tuned for that. So let's say I needed a handout for this presentation so the people following along could see the slides and be able to take notes if they chose to take written notes. So typically, in the older days when we used PowerPoint more often and things like that, or before Google moves things around, we typically would find our handout option under the actual print section, but that's not the case here in Google Slides. So follow with me. I'm going to click on File, and instead of going to Print, instead I'm going to go to Print Preview. So typically we use Print Preview as a way to see what it would look like if we printed it out, such as a Google Doc or such as that. But here I have my options that I'm used to having from maybe if I was a PowerPoint user before. So notice right here I have this set on a handout, nine slides per page, which you can see what that might look like there. It gives you a preview. I can put it on landscape or portrait. And then I can hide a background. If I have a background, it would hide that. And if I had skipped slides or hidden slides within my presentation, um, it would include those or I can choose not to include those. But then some other options that I have is one slide without notes, one slide with notes. This typically means if you have those speaker notes written down. So this is even for you as the presenter. If you have those speaker notes down in that bottom section that normally the viewer wouldn't see on the screen, you could print you out a set of these handouts and have those speaker notes written on the paper to stand up with you at your podium or wherever you are. Or you can just make various things here, handout one, one slide per page, three slides per page, four, six, nine, and so on. And then, of course, you can pick either portrait or landscape depending on how it looks. And then to get the best view of it, you can go ahead and hit the print button and it will take a few moments to generate that preview. So as you go along, it'll bring it up and then it'll show you what that preview will look like. Of course, it'll refresh in the background to give you that visual also. So here comes the preview. This is what it would look like if I actually printed it out. So here you can actually pick which printer from here so wherever you have your print options and different printers set up, you can choose that. You could even save it as a PDF from right here. And then you have your normal printer settings. And then here you could save it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because another feature I want to show you up here at the top is notice you can also download this as a PDF. So this is probably the part you're going to want. You can hit print and get the big preview and you can save it as a PDF that way or here we have the way to click it and save it as a PDF this way. So then you can send it to a printer, send it to a copy area, and have it print the handout for you to be able to give your participants in your presentation. So just a quick review. You can close the preview from here. Instead of going to actual print, you're going to go to print preview to be able to print or save handout PDFs to give to your attendees at whatever presentation you might be doing. So hopefully this helps you. This is one of those basic little things that if you don't know where it is and you forget where it is, it's hard to remember. So we have to sometimes dig those out of our little basics toolbox and be able to move forward. So thank you for listening.
Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you learned something that you can find useful. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below so you're able to find more of my videos for your tech learning needs. And I hope you have a great day. Be blessed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.